Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to solve with base E. So, as we said before, natural log and E are inverses of each other, meaning they undo one another, kind of like how multiplication and division undo one another. Addition and subtraction undo one another. Squaring and square rooting, they undo. Alright, so when I want to solve with base E, I'm going to end up using natural log in there. Okay. But first, I want to isolate the e part, e to the 2x. I'm going to get that alone. So I'll subtract 2.5 from both sides. I'm going to get 7e to the 2x equals 17.5. How do I get rid of that 7? I divide by 7. So I'm going to get e to the 2x equals 2.5. You can probably use your calculator for that. Then what I'll do is I'll take the natural log of both sides. If I, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. These guys cancel, and I'm left with 2x. Over here, if I plug in natural log of 2.5, let's round it to the nearest hundredth, which is two decimal places. You've known that for some time. All right, and I get 92. 0.92. It's 0.916, so it rounds up. Okay, from here, how do I solve for x? Not too bad, actually. I'm just going to divide by 2. And I get x equals... 0.46. Aight? Not F bade. Okay. And that's approximate, of course, because we did some rounding along the way. But there we go. Only real new thing is using that natural log. Otherwise, it's pretty basic algebra. Let's try another one with base E. So right now, I've got the E all by itself. I can just go ahead and take natural log. And if you want to pause... You can always pause and do the problem on your own right now, and then hit play when you're ready to see it. All right, so this is going to cancel the natural log of the e, and I'm going to get x plus 1 equals the natural log of 30 when I plug it in is 3.40. And then I can just subtract 1, and x is going to be 2.40. Not half bad, right? You guys are great. You guys are great.